Okay, so there's three questions. What can I do to help you? Do you have an agent? And why do you want to do that? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What's up, it's Brandon, the mountain biking real estate marketer, and today is Tip Tuesday. And we got Ricky Carruth in the house. What's up, what's up? Good okay. morning, good morning, good morning. So how, how was your weekend, man? Straight crushed it, man. I work seven days a week, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to help as many people as I can help. You know, if I don't, if I, don't I won't be able to sleep at night. Nice, dude, that's, that's awesome. So you're just pounding the pavement, trying to help as many people as possible, humanly possible, huh? That's it, man. Like, I know what my full potential is. If I don't, like, do everything I can to try to reach it, bro, I'm just literally just going to be upset. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. I know you have a good mission. I want to hear about why you're doing it. Well, I'm just doing it because I know I can, you know? I mean, I'm in Orange Beach, Alabama, right on the Florida line on the beach. Nobody really knows Alabama has beaches. And uh, I've been selling real estate since 2002. I was 20 years old. Before that, I roofed houses. So I made a million before I'm 23, lost everything, went back to roofing houses, worked in an oil rig for a year, read 100 books, realized that it's about people, not deals. And from there, I just started building my business, you know, uh, founded on people and relationships and how I can help people rather than just trying to do deals. And ever since then, man, my life's been completely insane and business is, you know, completely, you know, and when you build your business like that, it, nothing can bring you down. Market crashes, downturns, there's no such thing as that when you're in a people business because people don't go away. So, yeah. you know, it's, that's basically it in a nutshell. So about two years ago, I decided to start writing books and speaking uh, all across the world. I've been to Brazil and, you know, 20 different, 20 different cities this year and um, just spread my, my message of relationships over transactions, outwork everybody, closings happen every day. And through that, you know, my mission is to help reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry one agent at a time. So I'm the first completely free coach. I'm still selling full time, 100 deals a year as a single agent. I got over 20,000 agents in my coaching program growing by 50 or 100 every day. And I'm just enjoying the journey and the process. You know what I mean? Yeah, wow, that's awesome, man. So you're getting out there and you're preaching that it's relationships over transactions. That's, that's super awesome. Um, I've actually made that shift my, myself. I think that's why I, I definitely resonated with you was because, the, dude, that's what I've that's what I've been doing, and honestly, it's been it's been a big shift for sure. Uh, I, I actually um, I quit my day job in 2014. I've been in marketing digital my whole life through jobs, but 2014 I quit my quit my day job, and it was yeah, it was rough at first because I was focused on like making making cash, you know, make just financial achievement, right? And it was not going well, you know, it's just, it, it was hard. So, but as soon as I made the shift that as long as I'm focusing on helping people at the end of the day, and I tell people that, I say, this can get real shallow real quick. So. Yeah, man. Focus. Yeah, like as soon as you get that taste in your mouth of like what it feels like to actually help someone and make money from helping someone, you know, it's like, oh, wait a minute. I, I don't have to be high pressure. I can be myself and it works still. I can still close deals like this. And not only that, but I can close more deals because now I'm helping their friends and family and getting repeat business and now it's snowballing into something crazy. Yeah, you start, you, you, it's crazy. Once you get the taste in your mouth of what that feels like, it becomes addicted yeah. and then you just want to help, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. Okay, so let's jump right into the question, Ricky. So. For real estate teams, brokers, and agents watching this video right now that have went have been based, referral based only, and they're starting to take more of a lead generation approach. Mm -hmm. And I know that um, you have uh, your beliefs on lead generation, and you know you can buy them cheap or you buy them expensive. Yeah. But regardless. Yeah. My question is. You're getting leads mm. one way or another. They're free. They're three cents. They're three dollars. Yeah. Whatever. When you get them, I what are three tips? Three your three best tips for helping real estate teams, brokers, and agents turn buyer leads into butts in the seat and home showings. 
Not even, not, not even talking transaction. Mm. Because that's like, okay, how do we turn a lead to a transaction? That's pretty, okay, that's like a whole thing, right? Well, I'm just talking from this point A to point B, from lead to butt in the seat to home showings. Well, I think the first thing is to realize that most of the leads you get aren't gonna do anything right now. You know, and to wrap your head around the fact that, you know, most people start looking for houses and start doing the research months and months before they're actually ready to, to actually get serious about writing a contract. So I think that's the first thing. Um, I think the second thing is, is, is we gotta quit trying to convert every single lead because we're taking time away from people that really need our help trying to convert these leads that are never gonna convert. So, and I think the third way is to ask the right questions. And the right questions are, how can I help you? As in, what do you want to do? Is there an agent you would work with that you're gonna work with on that? Okay, and then once you get past those two questions and you've established yourself as their agent and what they wanna do, now we wanna understand why they're doing it. Okay, so there's three questions. What can I do to help you? Do you have an agent? And why do you wanna do that? And when you understand why they're doing what they're trying to do, like the bigger reasons behind why they're doing it, the motivation behind their mom died, their kids went to college, they, you know, they got a new job, they lost a job, they're trying to downgrade, upgrade, whatever it is, those deeper reasons is what's gonna really connect you to them and create an extended part of your family, which will in turn uh, develop a, a client for life, you know, and this is now part of your, now they're part of your sphere, not just a client. And so from there, once we know how, what we can do to help them, we know that they don't have an agent. We've established ourselves as their agent and asked them why they want to sell. Now we take all that data and create a game plan with them moving forward. Cause every situation is different. And the problem is all the most coaches and trainers are putting all the agents in a box saying, this is how you handle every single deal, every single situation. This is exactly how you follow up every single time when every situation is different. So how can you follow up the exact same way on every situation when every situation is different? You can't, right. it's a false reality. So you have to figure out what the situation is and then put together a game plan around what the situation is and then help them get where they wanna go. So that would be my three tips, you know, understand that everybody's not gonna do everything, you know, right when you want it to and that we gotta quit trying to convert every lead Right, we need a back-end system to help build our brand with these people long-term, okay? Which a weekly email is what I do. And then- yeah, that's good, I heard that. And then we want to do, and then we want to have the three questions. You know, what can I do to help? Do you have an agent? Why do you want to do it? And create a game plan around that. From there, our, our main objective is, is to build as big of personal brand as we can through voice to voice and digital marketing as the hardest working, most professional, knowledgeable, you know, dependable agent in the area. You know, and we want to do that across as many people as humanly possible. Absolutely. That's I preach that myself is, you know, you gotta do your your numbers game, but then you gotta do your personal branding game and just being yourself and getting out there on social media because it's like you build this database and you wanna stay in front of that database, you know. And yeah. That's that's awesome. Yeah. So for to recap, sure. uh, so take time to convert leads. So one, a lot of people maybe are getting leads and they're instantly they're just like counting down the days on when they're gonna sign a contract or hop in the car, right? And two is uh, don't try to convert every single lead. They're mm -hmm. not all gonna work because mm -hmm. you have one over here that's that's actually someone that might be able to really help. And this guy, I mean, they're obviously just giving me the run around, just let them go, be okay with it. Mm -hmm. And then three is ask the right questions, which yep. is can I help you? And I like what you say, which is, you know, what, what can I, what is it? What in the world can I do for you? Today? Yeah. Yeah. I love that. It's just like anything I can do for you. Anything, you know. anything. It's like, I mean, it's that tone is like, like it's a game changer. Yeah, for I, sure. You talk, of, talk to them like they're your mom or dad or brother or cousin, treat them like family, right? Cause they yeah. should be, they should be treated like family. Right. hundred percent. And then, are you working an agent? Obviously you want to ask that. And then understanding like the deep personal reasons as to why they're doing what they're doing. Yes. Because I'm sure when you ask those questions, they feel like they're being heard and that you're someone that actually cares rather than someone that's actually just after a transaction. And that's when you really open your ears up and listen to what they're saying. And that's when they're going to really feel like you care about what's going on. Cause you do. 
and then that's when they're really gonna get it. It's all gonna click, and you are literally becoming their agent for life. Dude, I love that. I love that. Okay, so those that's those are great tips, and I want to do throw a bonus question out there. Mm. So I'm, I think I already know what you're gonna say here, but um, bonus question is so like the way the tone of their conversation and what they're doing, the actions they're taking and the decisions they're making, like what's, what is everything should everything be based off of so that they, it can help guide their every decision and every conversation that way, every conversation mm -hmm. can feel natural because they already know their base. I think that, I think that it should come from confidence in two things. Okay, number one confidence is, is that you're there to actually help them. Your intent's in the right place. And since you have such a high confidence level of why you're there, then that should, that should make it to where you're unfazable. If someone's rude to you, it's like, I don't know why you would be rude to me. I'm here to help you kind of thing. And the second, the second thing you need to be confident in is the fact that closings happen every single day. They happen every day regardless of market conditions. So you have job security for the rest of your life. You'll never be able to do all the deals that are available to you each and every single day, no matter what the market does, forever. And so you shouldn't really weigh too much in on each deal or care if this person buys or sells. You just need to be concentrated on not the deal, but the person and what you can do to help them. Meanwhile, knowing that if you do that across enough people, you're gonna close a lot of deals consistently forever. All right, Ricky, thanks a lot for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one. Absolutely, man. Appreciate it.